right, hello everyone, welcome back to the Hunter Classic. We're out here with Comic Book Guy, and we have Anthony out here. We're doing some White Rabbit Bridge style hunting here. And right now we have a Sitka Doe, it looks like. Take a shot with the 6.5. And she is down. She went right down, actually. All right, so let's get this started. Hello Trent, Trenton Tao, Borkman, Bigfoot Hunter, Rick Bratton, hey Peyton, good to see you guys. Oh, Bennett just took a shot at a moose. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of bow fishing lately. And uh, yesterday I went out and caught a pretty decent walleye as well. Hey, hey, Justin. Cody Wicks, you're at school. Oh, I didn't know you guys had school today. I thought you'd have off. Hello, Hunter Bain. All right, so we have the 6.5 Panther. And we also have the AR-223 semi-automatic. And... The 10 millimeter semi-automatic uh, pistol. And what we're doing is headed this direction here. I do not know where Anthony is heading to, but Bennett is just getting into his position there. Um, and then comic book guy is gonna be coming up over here. We're gonna see if we can't get some long range sheep in uh, this stream. I think it'll be pretty cool. Cause the furthest shot I've ever taken on a running animal was 220. So to be able to get a 320, I think that would be really awesome. If it is possible. Oh, we got uh, two cow mooses. I mean, uh, two cow moose. Mooses. Right there. We don't really have anything to take a shot with them. We'll use a 10 millimeter, I guess. She should go down from that. Oh, you can't use a 10 millimeter. I forgot about that. That's all right. It was only a cow anyways. Trenton Town, Thursday was your last day. That's awesome. Good news. Glad to see that you're out of school. Peyton, you're out of school as well. That's really cool. Hey, Jonathan Meredith. Good to see you again. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, I probably should have brought something for a moose, but... As well as bison. I don't know why I brought the 6.5 and the 223. Justin, my favorite bow. Uh, if you're talking about the Hunter Classic, it would probably be the Camel Pulsar. Oh, you have driver's test on uh, Tuesday. Nice. Hey, Gage. Well, if you're not at school, hopefully you're enjoying your day. I'm enjoying the fact that it's not 95 degrees out again today. Uh, it's probably going to be later on, but right now, at least it cooled off for the night and this morning. It was nice though, I got a bunch of carp because of the heat, so can't complain about that. Just smoke some up and they taste really good. Carbon recurve, yeah, that's probably one of my favorites on the Hunter Classic as well. Hey Bennett, you got your moose, nice. You're gonna get a seven millimeter Remington bolt with the Nikon. Real nice, real nice setup you'll have there, Rick. That's really cool. Hunter Crean, good to see you. Hello, Hunter Whiteman. You're out of school too, that's awesome. Good news, good news. Yeah, it rained here this morning for a little while. Should probably wait up for Bennett here. He is way up there on the hill. 
Um, I don't know. Also, if anyone know, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. If anybody wants to join in, I believe there should be three more spots available. So feel free to join in. I think that's our injured moose. Yeah, it looks like it. And I'm pretty sure you can't use a 6.5 on moose either. She's down though. Oh, let's go pick her up. It's 68 there. Uh, 68's not bad at all. It was 93 here yesterday and it was humid too. So it felt like it was 98 and humid. JC Lanius, good to see you. Hey, Clayton Adams, good to see you. Welcome to the stream again. Uh, we are hunting for doll sheep. Mostly just doll sheep. Oh, speaking of doll sheep, we have some tracks. Fresh tracks. A nice male doll sheep track headed this direction here. Boy, would it be nice to have sunglasses on now because I can hardly see anything. I know there was a track headed this way, but it is so bright out here I cannot see. Oh! That must have been where that moose was standing. And here's the next track from the doll sheep. Okay, good. So the doll sheep and the moose were both headed the same direction is what it looks like anyways. The moose is down here. Apparently Bennett found another moose. Um, a bison just called. There's the bison. Let's see if it's a male or what it is. I don't know what just happened. But that was really strange. Uh, I think the whole game just crashed. It did. The whole game just crashed. Okay then. Well, the only good thing is I forgot to put on cold or uh, I forgot to put on warm clothes, so I was kind of shaking the way it was, anyways. So I guess we'll have to start over, but this time I think we're gonna start here and there. That will be on some doll sheep right away, and we're gonna start early in the morning so it's not so bright. I don't know why it was so bright out there. It's also really hard to see the chat too because it's white on white, and. Uh, Clayton Adams. Yeah, no, my whole game just crashed. Hey, Wiggles. Where's Wiggles at? I'm surprised Wiggles isn't out here. Yeah, we're going to be doing a reset here soon. Uh, Clayton, we have the 6.5 Panther and we have the AR-223 as well as the 10 millimeter. But I think I might switch out for the 10 millimeter for... Uh, possibly a 454 in case we see some moose or bison because at least we'll have something that we can use Tyler Lindbaugh, welcome to your first stream Who just spawned in oh Anthony's back Oh, we actually do have the 454 on us We had the time limiter too um, we're just going to switch it out for for the time being. And the 10 millimeter scope. All right, all right, pretty cool. Uh, looks like Anthony just disconnected. Look how far away that moose is out there. That moose is probably 300 plus. Tell you what. Let's quick grab something that we can actually use on this moose. Like maybe this. Let's move this, this. And we'll take the 3 away carbon. You know what? We should actually keep this. I forgot about this. I haven't used it in so long. This was one of my favorites for a while. So 
So there's the moose. Way over there, and I can't hard, hardly even see it. Oh, there it is. Yeah, shaking way too much. Why don't I have the same clothes back on? I have... <laughs> I wonder why I'm shaking so much. Uh, hey, the Tube Central, I'm just checking it out right now. I just noticed it. I haven't even been on the Hunter Classic in a while. Yeah, I guess when the game crashes, you don't keep all of your equipment. So you have to start over from the beginning. Well, at least the moose is still out there. Did we hit it? Okay then, I don't know what is going on. Why did the game just crash two times? I'm pretty sure I've never had this game crash before. At least not during a stream. And definitely not two times. Yeah, Clayton, what is going on? What is going on? Something very strange is going on. Hey, Primo Luke. Wiggles, what is going on? Do you think it has to do with White Run Ridge? I mean... Alright, well, we'll try this again. And this time we'll bring the AR if we can. Yes, it is twelve twelve right here. see how far we can take a shot well accurate shot anyways uh, maybe not Bison coming in. Decent male, too. Pretty decent male. Well, we'll let East West get that bison if he wants. Because we don't really have anything to take a shot at him with. Three hundred and six point two meters, huh? 
Hey, there's Wiggles. Just in time. There we go. How far is that? That's definitely not 300. 216. It's a little ways out, but still way too close. Game's gonna crash again, I can feel it. I can feel it. If it crashes again, we have to do a different reserve. I don't know why. It's just getting all laggy all of a sudden. Same thing happened. There's the moose. Look like a decent hit. Maybe lung and liver. Maybe not, because she's still running. <sighs> Hello, M. Mundy. Jam77, seven, seven. good to see you. It was 101 yesterday, or actually today. Yeah, well, it was it was like 93 here, not quite 100, but close enough, I guess. All right, let's see if Wiggles and Comic Book Guy are going to get set up. Yep, they are getting set up. That's good. So I guess we'll just come through here. And see if we can find some doll sheep. <laughs> holy, holy, close enough. Hello, Roy, welcome back. YOLO Pro just got an albino moose today on Call of the Wild. That's pretty awesome. Congratulations. Hey, Levi Noe, welcome. It's good to see you again. Yes, I will make some more Hunter Classic videos. Especially when the goose comes out. Once that comes out, I'll for sure make some. Or actually, that's going to be on Call of the Wild. Um, what is the Hunter Classic going to come out with next? Besides this big rendering thing. Yeah, the albinos are f hard to come by. I've seen a lot of pie balls though. When are they adding Cougar to Call of the Wild? I am not sure about that one. Thank you, Xavier. I appreciate that. Welcome. Welcome to the channel. There is our doll sheep calling. It is a female, but there's a good chance there could be a male with it. The uh, biggest animal you can get with the 410. Four. Uh, they should add 410 to this, but they don't. 
have one at the moment. Factory Creek Outdoors, welcome and thank you so much for subscribing. There is a doll sheep right there. It looks like a female though. Yep, just a female. So we're gonna use the 223 to keep it a little bit quiet. Yeah, I know, 410. That's a, it's a really good shotgun, but they don't have them on uh, the Hunter Classic. <sighs> Tried to drop her, but it didn't work. See? Call of the Wild style. I'm hoping we could see something quite a ways out here. Oh, is that? Ooh, bunch of them out there. How far are those? Those gotta be a long ways out there. I would say that's probably 300. Let's see how far they are. 284. Quite a ways out there, but not as far as we'd like. I'm trying to break 300 here. Two hundred and eighty-eight. There we go. Three hundred and eighteen on that one. And I think it just popped out of render distance. Yeah, I believe it did. But this one's still right here at about 300 exactly. So we should be able to go prone. Take a shot on this one. All right, there she is. Now she's gonna trot. Course. Where did she go? Can't see her anymore. All right, well, how far is this one? All right, YOLO Pro, I'll see you later. 286. Too close. 270. Need to find the other ones. So we need to find. There he is. You just barely see the butt on that one. I don't see the other one though. Okay, there's that one. 282. Alright, 300. We just broke 300. And I think we can go prone. Take a shot. I think that's the same one. Whoa! It hit way below her. Alright, that was really interesting. I guess we have to hold for... Oh, well, we have to hold high. I don't know how much drop there was going to be at 300. Probably should have picked an easier target to uh, take that far of a shot at because it's really hard to see these white sheep out here on the snow. Rabbit! How far is that rabbit out there? Rabbit is 270. Well, 
Let's see what the drop is like on this. Oh, it shot high. Well, it didn't really shoot high. We were aiming a little bit high, but it seems like it shoots flat up to, well, 300 with the 223. But the 308 seemed like it dropped a ton. Hey, Jacoby Guns, good to see you. Uh, that's an interesting question. Yes, you can hunt Blacktail and Muley on the Hunter Classic. Uh, IB wrap if you have extra if you have extra money then it's worth it to get the membership but if you don't then I would probably just uh, get some EMs with it Oh, that was a pretty nice shot, Clayton Adams. Alright, comic book guy is coming. Where's Wiggles? Wiggles is way over there. Well, between me and comic book guy, somebody should see something. Besides rabbits. Or uh, snowshoe hares. Good morning, Caden Pig. Yeah, very steep hill. The good part about this rendering thing is you can run a lot more now. You can run right up to the animal and you can see them before they actually spook. That's what I noticed. I was on VDV before and it seemed like you could run and spot every single animal. Before you used to have to walk and then crouch when you got to a good area. Now you can just run the whole time. Which seems like it makes it a lot easier. It's always been that way on uh, White Ram Ridge where you run around and see the moose pop into at a distance. But only on White Ram Ridge. Now it seems like it's that way on all the maps. There's our rabbit. And we will try for a shot on him if we can't see anything else. I'm hoping that we find at least a decent doll sheep here though. To test it out on first. Uh, nope. Let's find that rabbit. Uh, the rabbit's only 188 yards out, or 188 meters. It's not that far. I would imagine you'd probably be able to find bison a lot easier now, too. There's that rabbit. I can't believe there's nothing down here. Oh, there's two rabbits. One rabbit there and one over there. I think we might just fire a shot just to get something moving. This rabbit's about 200 meters exactly. Got him. See something taking off over here. What was that? What was that? I couldn't tell. Yep, 
Yeah, couldn't quite tell. Well, comic book guy, hopefully you find some. Because I'm not seeing very many right now. Hey, Corey H, it's going really good. Thank you for uh, asking. How's your day going? Samuel, sure, you can definitely join in. You guys don't have the Hawk Edge for PS4 yet? I did not know that. There we go, there we go, Fox! Way out there, way out there. Got a hit on him. And he's down. How far was that? I'm thinking like 250. 270 it should have been. Yeah, about 270. I think we hit him maybe in the intestine. Cause he's 280 right there. Could just barely see that fox out there. Nice one, Wiggles. Nice bison. Yeah, it was raining here too. My 243, probably 250 yards. And with my compound bow, 60 yards. That fox was a long ways out there. Should be DD33 multiplayer. Yeah, there should be some sheep here between us, or well, between me and comic book guy. Let's pick him up. 271.9 meters out and it scored 10.2 pretty decent fox and 200 meter well 271 meter shot that's definitely my farthest shot on a fox hey wiggles has a polar bear i haven't seen one of those in a while All right, comic book guy, get ready. There might be something coming. Rabbit? Was that a rabbit? I think it was. It almost looked like it was a fox, but I'm pretty sure it was a rabbit. Yeah, something's coming your way. It is a Sitka dope. I just took a shot just to see. I didn't really plan on hitting it. Should be coming right toward. Oh, that's a buck. Uh, decent sick of buck coming your way. Coming right up the hill. Doe and a sick of buck coming right towards you, comic book guy. In fact, I'll mark them for you. Or I guess I don't have to do that because you see them. Nice shot. Nice shot. I saw you hit that one that time. Nice shot. Real nice shot. Um, I just saw this other buck running right towards us here. Oh, there he is. This buck's coming right to us. He's actually going to be too close.
Got him. Fox, fox. Wait, it's not a fox, that's a rabbit. And that is a nice ram. Oh, come on. Come on. Got a decent hit on him. I don't know if it's going to bring him down or not, but there's a decent ram up there by you, comic book guy. Just going to mark. Can't really mark it. Uh, should be there. All right, let's go grab this Sitka. And somehow we'll see if we can magically get up to the top of this mountain and pick up that doll sheep. Nice polar bear. This was a decent Sitka buck. Got a skull brain shot. Actually, he wasn't very big. 57 score. That's funny, I thought that was a fox. Just a rabbit. There's a rabbit right here if you have anything to take him with. Well, I feel bad because he's like stuck on this mountain. So we'll take a shot on him. There we go, we finished him off. Can we not climb up this mountain? Uh, sort of, sort of, but not really. Oh yeah, we can climb right up it. Not bad. Yeah, I figured we can't use a 223 on, on uh, Rabbit. Where? Oh, there's the tracks from where the doll sheep would have been standing. But it doesn't look like it went down. That's a really decent polar bear, 27 score. Body hit. Hit him a little bit high in the back is what it looks like. It was a decent ram. I'm hoping we could find him. I think he might be down here. Um, nope, he ran through here, but he definitely didn't go down. Yeah, he took off. Right through here somewhere. Hey, there's East West. I was really hoping that this doll sheep was going to go down. But it doesn't look like it's going to. So we'll track it down. Max score on a doll sheep or Rocky Mountain. Now, doll sheep would be... I mean, if you get one 210 plus, they don't get much bigger than that for a doll sheep. I've gotten a 201 score, which was huge. And then for a Rocky Mountain Elk, they get like 450 is a giant. But if you get one that's 400 plus, that's a really nice. Uh, it's still a mo it's still a monster uh, Rocky Mountain elk, depending on how big you want to get one. So yeah, probably 220 and 450. Hey Tyler, welcome back. Uh, we hit a doll sheep, but not very good. 
Oh, there's a Sitka way out there. How far is that? Oh, that's going to be a poke. Another Sitka there. Holy, look, look, there's a fox. Close to 300 meters out. Can just barely see him. 278. Wow, that thing is out there a long ways. We could probably take a 300 meter shot if we got back far enough. I'll be happy with 290 at least. 284. Yeah, I think we're gonna go for it. We'll take 280. If he's the right weapon. And if I could see it, there it is. 285. Shot to the right of him. It shot way to the right of him. Now a little bit high. Wow. Yeah, I didn't see that coming. I did not know we were gonna shoot way to the right. If anything, I thought we were gonna shoot high or low. And mostly what it was was it shot to the right. Yeah, it was a far shot. But it was very, very possible. I don't know where this doll sheep decided to go to. I think there's a sit cut right out there. Nope, there is two nice fox right out there. I thought that was a Sitka. That fox right there is huge compared to that one, especially. There must be a big male. How far is that? That's 280 plus two. All right, so we pushed to the right last time. This time we're gonna hold left because for some reason we pushed to the right. I don't know why we pushed to the right. But we definitely pushed to the right. Here we go. Got a hit on him. We didn't push to the right that time either. Unfortunately, it looks like it hit right exactly where I was aiming. But it was a hit. Whether or not it'll bring him down, I think it should. Should have been 280. Wow, 280 meters on a fox. Uh, yeah, 220 plus is a, a real big bull, bull moose for sure. Hello, Booty TV. Hopefully it goes down at least. Yeah, I know the hot, the uh, dogs don't really work as, as well as you think they would. It gets to a point where you're pretty much better off without them and that's why I don't really use them.
Oh, that's a big male track. A real nice male. So this is the bot where he was standing. And body. Which I figured was going to be body because we hit him right in the hind quarter. Some more body blood. I gotta say, and I was really hoping that this is going to bring him down. Because I do not feel like tracking a wounded fox. Although that's exactly what it looks like is going to happen. If we're lucky enough, we might be able to spot him out here in this other opening. Hey, that's nice of you, Clayton. Thank you for saying that. Track there. Track there. Well, it doesn't look like he went down, but I don't see him anywhere. Rabbit there. And there's our fox. Right there. At least that should be our, that's the wrong weapon. It should be our fox. If not, it's gonna be the other fox that we saw as well. No, that's definitely ours, it's a big, big male. Let's see, I get a spotting on him. Yeah, that's the big male. Oh, come on, started walking too. And I think he stopped right behind that tree. Oh, there he is. Come on, stop. Oh, centered him that time. Got a real good hit on him that time. I'm thinking that should bring him down. Still running. Oh, oh, oh. almost had another one in him. You know, that might be actually a different fox. Wow, that was 300 plus when we were shooting at him there. There's a rabbit. Yeah, I think this is the same one. Hey Ryan, good to see you again. Oh boy, that's not good. If this is the same fox we hit from before and we have two hits in him and he still doesn't go down, then that's not a good thing. Because it's looking like it should be the same one. Uh, 
Uh, yep. Same body again. I was thinking for sure that was going to be intestine. Yeah, you would think two, 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 two twenty-three shells would bring down a fox, for sure. We'll see what happens. Alrighty, sounds good. I seriously can't believe that that fox did not go down from those two shots. We got that one at 270, no problem at all. But once we try to get 10 meters further, 280, we can't even get one. Call from a different fox. I don't see the big one that we hit. I don't see him anywhere. All right, sounds good, Airborne. I know he went this way, but I can't believe he won't go down with those two hits. Just one tough fox. I'm trying to. He got hit with the 223 two times, and he still won't go down. It's kind of good to know though, so 270 it seems like you can get a, a, a body hit and it will go down pretty quick, but 280, not so much. Boy, where did this fox even go? Ran down there. Who knows where? Hey, Dutch Gaming.
All right, I'll see you later, pet wolf. And he is gone. Completely. Oh, he probably went back this other way. All right, well, uh, actually, I have to get going. We're going to go fishing here in a little bit. So um, I just wanted to give it a try and see what the new rendering is like. And there should be a new video uh, tomorrow on Call of the Wild. I'm working on a new uh, crossbow video. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this stream. And thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you next time.